Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Uh, in this video, we will be talking about Sonar Cloud. Uh, Sonar Cloud is a cloud based code analysis platform that helps developers and teams assess the quality and maintainability of their code. It provides a comprehensive set of static code analysis rules to detect potential bugs, security vulnerabilities, and code smells in a variety of programming languages. We have been using this uh, even for our Terraform, uh, which is infrastructure as a code. The key features are code analysis. So it performs static code analysis to identify code issues and potential risks. The technical debt management. Uh, it measures and tracks technical debt, allowing you to prioritize and tackle issues. Code coverage. Sonar Cloud calculates code coverage to an ensure comprehensive testing. Security analysis, it detects security vulnerabilities and provides recommendations for secure coding practices. Integration, it integrates with popular development tools such as Azure DevOps, GitHub and Bitbucket. We will be using this in, uh, you know, in our Azure DevOps pipelines for checking the quality of our code for our uh, security analysis and also, you know, we will have this uh, as a pipeline for our PRs. So whenever there's a PR being created, our code will be, you know, analyzed and there will be code. If there are any code smells, we will get uh, comments from uh, Sonar Cloud. Uh, it will uh, point out the issues with our code and then we will have to resolve those issues uh, before the merge can be completed. There is something called quality gates. So they are the fundamental concept in Sonar Cloud that enable you to define and enforce quality thresholds for your project. They act as checkpoints that determine whether a project meets the desired quality standard before it can be considered stable and ready for production. We can either use the, you know, the default, uh, the default built in Sonar way, which is the uh, basically uh, sonar cloud has its own metrics and uh, the values the thresholds defined predefined which is uh, a default uh, built in uh, quality gate you can also create a custom one uh, the when you define the quality gate the there are various criteria there is code coverage there is code smells there is security vulnerabilities there is technical debt so all these things can be used uh, to you know create your uh, threshold so if I go into my project and to the quality gate, you will see currently I don't have any custom quality gate. I'm just having the default sonar way. So if we go and look into the metrics, so the coverage, uh, the operator is, is less than and the value is 80%. So if, if, it, if the code coverage is less than 80% in our code, uh, the quality gate would fail and you know, you, the deployment will fail it will not go to the next stage if you define this in a stage so if anything uh, like if it is less than the value it will fail and your stage will fail uh, similarly there are other metrics that can be defined the duplicate lines the maintainability rating the reliability rating security hotspots and security rating let's create a custom quality gate let me name it just custom quality gate save it and then you can add your own metrics and values i mean the conditions so if you click on add conditions select a metric so the default is 80 percent for code coverage if i want uh, you know the 90 it to be 90 percent i can just create one the condition the first thing is uh, whether you want to run it on the new code which will be the pr or the overall code Once done, it should be available to be used. So currently I'm using 90% for overall. I'll, I'll also create another one for uh, the new code and yeah, I'll, I'll probably remove this one. Then you go back to your project administration, call it a gate. And when you see, you'll be able to now uh, select your custom quality gate. So this is the way to, you know, create a custom quality gate. And uh, in later videos, we will see how we will use these quality gates and use this sonar cloud 
integrated in our Azure DevOps process for us code analysis and all, all the you know features that Sonar Cloud provides. So thanks for watching and keep supporting.